So we're gonna pull out straight ahead. Let him go and then you go. We're at Holland Meadows today and this is our traffic garden. This is the first traffic garden that Fairfax County has installed. And we did this at Holland Meadows because they went underwent renovation and their blacktop was resurfaced so we had a blank slate. I went to Design and Construction and asked if it was possible that they could put down traffic markings so that we could have a traffic garden here. And so they did. We're really lucky to have it and it's used during recess, during student playtime for all sorts of activities. It's used really well outside of having bikes on the traffic garden. So it's beneficial for everybody. We used a mini grant from Safe Routes to School from the uh, VDOT. And then we also use neighborhood and community services help to provide funds. So our goal here is to hopefully have this be a regular spec that uh, when a school goes, undergoes renovation or has their blacktop resurfaced, that we can have these lines put down so that kids can use the traffic garden to learn more about pedestrian and bike safety. Um, we learn that the pedestrian has to ride away and that you have to stop for the pedestrian to wait until they get all the way across the road. So they learn this, how to signal. They learn how to communicate with other drivers or other bicyclists. They learn how to yield to pedestrians. They learn the rules of the road. And this year we've decided to include a small, kind of a mini bike club after school for students who are novice riders to provide just that supplemental lesson in order for them to become bike riders. I'm in going to fifth grade and I don't know how to ride a bike yet and so like we have biking club for like people that want to learn how to ride a bike and like you don't know how to ride a bike you can like join this club. For students that are wheelchair bound we have a hand cycle uh, that we share uh, throughout the county for students that might need that and then we also have uh, just recently a student that's totally blind ride for us with a student in front of him ringing the bell on his bike so that that student could ride. And fearlessly riding his bike. Wow, they're not going to be in school all the time. They have to go out into the real world. And the real world is going to throw you different situations. So if we can do that here with the after school programs, give them scenarios and situations and goals and different things to deal with and how to deal with it, then they'll have better understanding to be more prepared.